Hey guys, if you live in a country like me where you need to drive everywhere, then you need a few things in your car that just makes life so much easier, so much better, especially in those unforeseen, unknown situations. Winston Churchill said, he who fails to plan is planning to fail. Now I'm not gonna waste your time, I'm gonna get right into the list of things that you need in your car. Number one, sunglasses. If you drive a lot, then you know it's terrible to find yourself in a situation where you're driving, the sun is right in front of you, it's just rising or it's just going down. You can't see a thing. So just keep sunglasses in your car and it'll help. It's also gonna be great because whenever you go to a certain venue when you need sunglasses, then you'll have it. A car phone charger or just the cables for those USB ports in your car. Believe me, this is the best thing that you can keep in your car always, especially if you use Google Maps on your phone. A pen. Believe me, for some reason, you always just need a pen in your car. Trust me on this and you'll thank me. Jump cables. Look, this is just a no-brainer. Keep it in your car at all times because it saved lives and the time of many men across the world. All the equipment for a flat tire. Do you know what to do if you get a flat tire? Well, you won't be able to do anything if you don't have the right equipment. So, you gotta have a spare tire with a jack, a wheel lock and a cross wrench. When you're on a road trip and you're just enjoying your time, you don't want to get stuck with a flat tire and not being able to change it. So make sure that you are prepared for a flat tire. A flashlight. Believe me, when you're driving at night and your car breaks down or you get a flat tire, you want to see what you're doing. And you don't need a big flashlight, just a small one that's powerful. I'll add a few options for you in the video description. I'll do that for everything on this list. A blanket. For some reason, long trips with a blanket is just awesome. And you can also just fold it up and use it as a pillow. Or if you're really going on long trips, just add a pillow as well. A snow brush or an ice scraper. Believe me, if you live somewhere that's really cold, you want to have it in your car all the time because you don't want to get stuck somewhere just because you don't have it with you. A traditional road map. Personally, I think it's cool. You know, some of those things in the old good days, the new generation, they don't know how to use it anymore. But some of it really comes in handy. For example, if you're driving somewhere, your phone dies, you can't use Google Maps, then you still have the old roadmap that you can use. The emergency cast in your car. You're gonna need it sometime, sooner or later. It happens, believe me, it happened to me a few times. You're driving somewhere, for some reason your car doesn't work or you can't find an ATM and you need real hard cash, then you still have it in your car. Mints or gum? In your car, all the time. Man, the number of times that this helped me when I had to go from one uh, occasion to another and I just felt, man, you can feel when you have bad breath. It saved my life a few times. I use Fisherman's Friend because, well, they're just awesome. Wet wipes or tissues. I actually learned this from my wife, but you don't want to eat in a car or change a flat tire or do something else and then your hands are dirty and you don't have anything to clean it with. So tissues or wet wipes, man, it's awesome because you don't want to touch your, yourself, your face or your steering wheel with dirty hands. A bottle of water. There's nothing worse than being stuck in traffic and you're thirsty or on a, lo a long road trip and the gas station is far away and you don't have water. Man, what if your car breaks down in the middle of nowhere and you, you don't have any water? But just remember, don't keep a normal plastic bottle just in your car because it's not good with the sun there the whole day. My advice is whenever you go somewhere, take a bottle of water with you. Don't just leave it there in the car. And get a bottle that is BPA free, bisphenol A. Pocket knife or a multi-tool? Believe me, it's gonna come in handy because, well, you can't predict everything that's gonna happen and what you will need, right, when you're away from home. But a pocket knife and a multi-tool will definitely help with most of the problems that you may encounter. Oh, hey, just before I continue with the next step, if you like this video, if you like my channel, please subscribe and then also click that notification bell so you won't miss any of our future videos. I would really love the support from you guys. All right, the next step is a first aid kit. 
And I don't really need to tell you why, do I? Food. Now, I don't really like to keep food in my car all the time, except if I go on long trips. Not things that will go bad quickly, but uh, a protein bar, for example, is perfect. A phone plan. If you use your phone for Google Maps just to know where you're going, where you're heading, then why don't you just get a phone plan? Because it's so much better, so much more convenient, and it's safer as well. Now, this is an important tip. Deodorant and antiperspirant. Believe me, you don't want to get somewhere to an important event or even work and then you remember you forgot to put on any deodorant. Because believe me, you don't want to be that guy that smells terrible and everybody is trying to avoid. Now just a bonus tip. It's always good to keep a bag in your car, a one-nighter bag, meaning just a bag with some of your basics in it. So for example, if you visit your friend that lives far away and he's late and you decide, man, I don't want to drive back home, then you have that bag in your car with your toothbrush, with one set of clothes, etc. Or imagine you go somewhere, you quickly stop, you want to get coffee and the barista spills coffee all over you. Then you still have that set of clothes in your bag. Now, there are certain things that every guy must have. Cheap things. Check out this video here where I mentioned 20 cheap things that every guy should have. And before you go, always remember, life is short, so don't waste yours. Cheers, guys.